Okay, in this video, I'm going to solve question 3.5 from DBE from paper 1, okay, from November 2021. The question is on reproduction in vertebrates, life sciences, grade 12, exam question. Okay, this is the question, question 3.5 from November 2021. Okay, you have three questions to solve and the total is 7 marks. Okay, let's get started on the next slides. Okay, let me get the question again. Okay, question 3.5 from November 2021. Okay, so 3.5 reads the extract below. The bluefin tuna, the great white shark, and the bottlenose dolphin are three aquatic species that are found in the Indian Ocean. An adult bluefin tuna releases up to 540 millions of eggs into the water annually while the great white shark female produces 2 to 12 offspring through ovovivipary every two years okay a bottlenose dolphin female being a mammal is viviviparous and produces one offspring every two to three years okay 3.5.1 name the type of fertilization that takes place in the bottlenose dolphin one mark. Okay, let's read about the bottlenose dolphin. So we start from here. A bottlenose dolphin female, being a mammal, is viviviparous and produces one offspring every two to three years. Okay, because the bottlenose dolphin is a mammal and is a viviviparous animal, you know that internal fertilization is involved. Okay, you find internal fertilization in mammals and viviviparous animals okay so this is not an external fertilization but an internal fertilization because you have a mammal and a viviviparous animal okay now 3.5.2 explain how two of the reproductive strategies of the great white shark increase its reproductive success for max okay let's read about the great white shark okay Let's start from here. While the great white shark female produces 2 to 12 offspring through ovovivipary. Okay, so this is the reproductive strategy. It is ovovivipary. Okay, so from this, you have to explain how two of this strategy is going to increase the reproductive success. Okay, because it is ovovivipary. You know that the eggs are kept inside the female's body where they are protected okay if they are protected they are kept safe from predators and from environmental factors okay another one is you have internal fertilization so because it is an internal fertilization there is a high chance of fertilization because it is internally the sperm are going to be released inside the female's body and there is a higher chance they can fuse with the eggs okay and so there is a high chance of fertilization because it is internal fertilization in the great white shark okay so you can give these two reproductive strategies to explain how this is going to increase the reproductive success now 3.5.3 explain one reason why the bluefin tuna releases a large number of eggs okay the reason can be it is in order to increase the chances of fertilization okay because not all the eggs are going to fertilize so if you have many some will miss and some will fertilize okay the more eggs are present the higher the chance of fertilization okay so this can be one reason or you can say it is in order to increase the survival of the eggs or the number of offspring some of them are not going to survive okay so, because there is a large number, the chance of them surviving is increased. Okay, so this can be another reason. Or you can say, eggs can be lost to predators or environmental factors since there is an external fertilization. Okay, so you have an external fertilization in the bluefin tuna. Because there is an external fertilization, the eggs can be lost to predators or environmental factors. So, because of that reason, the bluefin tuna 
has to release many of them because some will be lost and some will survive okay so it has to release many of them so that there is a high chance of some surviving okay you can give one of them you have three of them okay so you can give only one okay and we are done with question 3.5 from november 2021 okay until next time i will talk to you soon